Welcome back, agents. Today we're analyzing... A pig? Did the wit gamers hack the system again? Wait a minute. Okay, it seems like April Fool's Day came early today. Or maybe the higher ups didn't like that I was giving my opinions in the broadcasts. <sighs> Item number SCP-1551-X, object class, explained. So why do they want me to analyze this? This is the SCP explained. What do you mean I can't say that on Earth? Intellectual property? Son of a... Special containment procedures. SCP-1551-X is to be held in Enclosure 19 at Biological Research Area 12 until a permanent housing solution can be found. Description SCP-1551-X is a domestic pig, Sus Domesticus, with a human face grafted onto its forehead. The face was formerly that of Mateo G. Hernández, a pig farmer from Extremadura, Spain. SCP-1551-X is also lacking its left ear, right eye, and left foreleg. Ah. Oh. I don't like where this is going. Addendum 1551.1 Document TS-1551 Upon discovery of SCP-1551-X, as natural secure that on its torso was recovered, it contained a folded note along with the above image. Document TS-1551 Hi kids! Now you are the proud owner of Senor P who is the tiny senior line of Professor Fantastic. Try to collect all the fun for hours. Let your seniors here for fun. Pick up all the seniors. Super fun. Fun for you. Fun for your friends. Señor Boom. Señor Fluff. Señor Señor. Señor Señorita. Señor Fun. Señor Hall. Señor Pig. Señor Purple. Señor Taste. Addendum 1551.2 Test Log Given the nature of other anomalies recovered from the tiny senior line of products, it was suspected that SCP-1551-X would have anomalous abilities. A series of tests were performed on SCP-1551-X to determine if it possessed any anomalous properties. An abridged list of tests is listed here. For a full list, See document 1551XTL. What do you mean we don't have that document? But the only thing we get paid to do is leak documents. What do you mean they're not going to pay us? Test 1. Goal. Discover if SCP-1551X is capable of speech. Procedure. SCP-1551X was interviewed in 27 different languages. Result. No successful communication. All questions were responded to with regular squealing and oiking. Test 2. Goal. Figure out if SCP-1551-X shared the memories of Mateo G. Hernandez. Procedure. SCP-1551-X was shown pictures of Hernandez's husband and children. It was also given choices between Hernandez's favorite foods and steamed vegetables. Result. SCP-1551-X stepped on and walked past photos of the family, ignoring the favorite dishes to consume the vegetables. Test 10 Goal To tell if SCP-1551-X is able to see through the eyes of the face on its forehead. Procedure The pig eyes were blindfolded with a cloth wrapped around its head. SCP-1551-X was then guided to attempt to return to its enclosure. Result SCP-1551-X was unable to make its way back, bumping into walls with the human eye showing no signs of use, of course. Blindfold was removed and it was able to get straight to its pen efficiently without incident. Notes Complications due to the blindfold having been applied too tightly led to SCP-1551-X losing sight through its right eye. Test 19 Goal Check if Mateo G. Hernandez's soul has been transferred to SCP-1551-X. Procedure Staff from the Department of Spiritual Communication were brought in to check the entity's soul for fragments of Mateo G. Hernandez. 
result, the spiritualist could not uncover any non-big soul. Test 26. Go. See whether the removal of the entity's skin causes it to regrow as human. Procedure. A small chunk of SCP-1551-X right here was surgically removed. SCP-1551-X was then observed for a month. Result. All regrown skin was that of a baseline pig. Notes. During regrowth, the ear became infected. A full amputation of the ear was needed to stop the spread of the infected dish. Right. Test 34. Goal. Given the content of the enclosed image, an attempt to see if SCP-1551-X had the ability to walk in a bipedal manner was conducted. Procedure. Two researchers held the SCP-1551 next up by its two front legs so that it was fully supported by only its back legs. Then it was let go. Result. Procedure was carried out seven times. The longest SCP-1551 X was able to stay standing upright was during attempt four for a total of three seconds. Notes: During its release on attempt 7, the entity landed with its front leg incorrectly, fracturing multiple bones. It was unable to recover from the injury, and its left leg has been amputated. After the results of test 34, testing was suspended at least. Anomaly 10 reclassified as explained. Holy smoking gun, is this official? The Pegasus thing was cruel, but the animal violence is getting a bit out of hand, don't you think? What do you mean by sent the bug? Oh, right, right, I'm on it. And low. Well, I mean, makes you think about why we get so much crap for the chair thing, no? Look, agents, I don't know what else to say. And we're not getting paid for this broadcast due to unexpected expenses in... Poor fool pig. Help us get paid. I mean, help us keep leaking foundation documents by leaving suggestions and the like in the comment section below. I am Virostis Anonimo, we are the GOC, and you have been informed, I guess.